Here I'm going to share with you all the settings and programs I'm using on Windows 11 with my LG C1 OLED. And the first thing that I'm going to recommend for everyone who is using an OLED display on Windows is to set a high contrast theme. This is going to be the best for your display and more importantly for your eyes. <laughs> the best thing about having perfect blacks on these OLED displays is that there is no light damaging your eyes. If you just want to work on the computer or just read some articles, you don't need picture quality, you don't need perfect, you know, D65 or whatever you want. No blue lights, meaning no white, nothing that has blue, okay? That's going to be the most refreshing and the best and the healthiest thing for your eyes. So highly recommended. How do you do that? Very easy. Just you know, just press the key uh, Windows, just type in high contrast and you're going to set a high contrast theme and then you're going to make sure that you edit that high contrast theme so there is no blue, okay? No color blue on Windows. So you can work in this way, you can work on your PC all day long. Your eyes are gonna be like, this is so easy, so amazing for your eyes. Highly recommended. Uh, trust me, if you try this, there is no way you will ever go back to that nasty white <laughs> everywhere. It just doesn't make any sense. I see some people complaining that the OLEDs have ABL and you know it's bothersome to see how the brightness changes when you have a small window and then you have a, a bigger white window and then the brightness goes down and that bothers some people. Why would you want 200 nits plus full screen white to work on your computer all day long? It just doesn't make any sense. That's terrible for your eyes and it's also bad for your display. This is also going to be, you know, helping with burning long term. And the second thing that I'm going to recommend for everyone to prevent burning is to hide the task bar. So after you set that high contrast on Windows, go and get this program that is called Rounded TB. This is, you can get it from the Microsoft Store and it's a free app. With this app, you can basically hide the task bar completely. So when I do this and I minimize everything, all I see is a black screen without nothing. I mean, there's nothing on the screen. See, it's like the TV is off. <laughs> there's no light on the TV. There's nothing that is going to burn in over the time. So I can you know, go cook, eat something. My computer is on, my TV is on, and the screen is not displaying anything. Just perfect blacks, okay? Definitely do that, no matter what display you are using. So now, specifically for this WRGB OLED, this is what I'm going to recommend you to get. I'm gonna have a link in the description of this video so you can download the Color Control app. This is going to give you more control over the LG OLED you pay for because LG for some reason likes to lock settings, okay? So you cannot use that peak brightness on high on game optimizer mode. They let you watch the news <laughs> with the peak brightness on high and they don't, they don't let you play your games with that brightness. It doesn't make any sense. With this app, we can get the brightness we pay for, okay? A must <laughs> if you are using an LG OLED. And now, this is also gonna work for the PS5, for the Xbox, uh, and the only thing you have to do is just change the settings of the HDMI port that your console is connected to. I'm gonna show you that. Very important app to download, it's also free, and it's gonna give you all the control on your LG OLED. Also, if you just got a, a C3 or G3, you can access the service menu with this. <laughs> the real service menu, you cannot access the real service menu with a service remote, which doesn't make any sense. So the other app I'm going to recommend you to download is this CRU app. 
very important and I'm gonna show you why so let me start by showing you this CRU app by the way these are the settings I'm using on the Nvidia control panel uh, just you know full RGB 10 bits let me show you this CRU app first what is that you want to do with this CRU app by the way this is how you download this you just click the link you're gonna come to this page and you click here color control dot uh, zip and you download this CRU app by clicking here download click here and this is how it looks like when you download them you're going to get this folder and you just have to extract the folder for this CRU app and you're gonna get this executable and these files that I'm gonna explain you how that works and for the color control app you're also going to get this zip file that you're going to extract and then you get this folder all you have to do is just open the program here by double clicking here so when you double click on this program you will see that the screen is going to flash you're not going to see the program then you have to go here and the program is gonna be here you have to double click on it it's just the way it works you double click on it and then you open it and you can see it so let me start by showing you what is that we want to do with this CRU app when you get your LG OLED there is a resolution that is completely useless and it causes some stretching in some games it's the true 4k resolution 4096 by 2160 you want to delete that resolution because if you want to use for example Nvidia image scaling which I use a lot to get a higher frame rate for games that don't support FSR 2 or they don't have DLSS I use Nvidia image scaling here you can turn it on and there's a sharpness slider and that basically is going to give you more resolutions that are below 4k that they look very good they look a lot better than just lowering the resolution on the game it looks much 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 better you definitely have to give it a try and also if you want to go over 4k you want to use these DSR factors you want to use this Nvidia deep learning super resolution or even if you have an AMD card the equivalent of versions in order for this to work for this DSR you know, deep learning super resolution this two one this two these are the ones that I use in order for this to work you have to delete that true 4k resolution that comes with your LG OLED otherwise the scaling is wrong and, and you're going to get stretching in some games so how do you delete that resolution very easy you, you're going to use this CRU app custom resolution utility and all you have to do is double click here and then you come here to TV resolutions and you are going to see here listed I already deleted them uh, because if I delete it in real time it might cause a problem with the recording so all you have to do is select all those resolutions or just click one by one delete 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 and you delete all those resolutions here listed that are 4096 by 2160 delete that is completely useless it is just not gonna do anything for you and you're not deleting those resolutions from the TV they're still gonna be there this is just from the ADID uh, EDID I think it's I forgot how that thing is called it's just basically from from Windows if you it reinstall the drivers you get those resolutions again and, I, and I'll, I'll, I will show you how you can reset everything in case that you messed up something let's say you delete all the resolutions here I will show you how you reset that so you delete those resolutions from here and also come here to HDMI support and you will also see that 4096 by 2160 resolution here just select that and hit delete then OK then OK then OK and then after you do that come here to this folder and then you have to hit reset you have to hit reset no I'm sorry you just have to hit uh, restart 64 that's it just restart 64 and then you will see that it is going to be disappearing then you open again the Nvidia control panel or the AMD control panel and you will see that that resolution is no longer here that's it 
That's all you have to do. So now, the second thing that I use this uh, app for, and this is one of the most important things. A lot of people that tell me, hey, I am, I'm having an issue, the screen is flashing, it's going back, it's going to black, I'm having issues with the G-Sync that is not showing up, the G-Sync symbol is just saying VRR on. Any of those issues, you just come here to this folder and you hit restart, you hit reset, reset all, and then you hit restart and restart 64. And this is an executable. And after you do that, you will see that those handshake issues, they're gonna go away. If you see a screen flashing, something looks weird, like, oh man, this is broken, what happened here? Is my HDMI 2.1 cable broken? Or I'm having an issue. You just come here to this folder, you hit reset, and then restart and restart 64, and those problems, they go away. Time and time again, I just it's just a folder that I always want to have on my hand because sometimes those issues happen and it gets resolved immediately, okay? And this might even help you even with a different display, even a Samsung TV, I don't know. Any TV that you're having a handshake issue between your drivers, you know, the GPU, the AVID, whatever it is, the VRR, just try this and then you'll see it. And also, of course, you can always you know, re restart the, reinstall the drivers, the GPU drivers, that basically, that, that's gonna fix the problem too. But this is a lot faster, okay? This is a lot faster. So definitely give this CRU app a try. It's a must, in my opinion, because you also get some stretching in some games with that resolution. So now, what about this color control app? I'm going to do a separate video dedicated to this color control app, but, but for now, let me give you just a just an idea of what we can do with this color control app we can basically have access to settings that are locked so when you open this color control app all you have to do is connect the app to your internet that's it to your TV you, you need to have your TV connected to your internet let's say you have the TV connected to your Wi-Fi and your TV has the information, the network information that this app is asking you to connect to the TV. So go to your TV network information. Let me actually, let me see here so I can tell you exactly. So you go to settings on your TV. You're not going to see the settings because I'm capturing the, the, the screen of my PC, not the TV. I am not po pointing the camera to the TV. But, so I can tell you, you go to uh, the settings on your TV. Then you go to general network and then you go to Wi-Fi uh, connection and then other network and that's going to give you the information you need. Then you go to advanced Wi-Fi settings and there you're going to see the IP address, uh, you're going to see the, the MAC address, that's what this app is going to ask you to connect in case that the app doesn't detect the TV automatically which might happen if it doesn't de detect the TV automatically you click here add and then you type in that information manually and now your app and the TV are connected so you can come here to expert and change any settings you want you have the, t the settings here so if you are on SDR for example you can click here pick brightness high boom and you see that it goes to high so the, the setting is still going to be locked on the TV, but you're going to get that setting change. This is not going to void your warranty. This is risk free. Absolutely no risk whatsoever. You are not increasing the risk of burning or anything like that. That setting is available in any other mode that is not game optimizer. So use it. That's what you pay for. So now, if you also want to access the service menu, this can potentially void your warranty. So do this at your own risk. You can also access the service menu here on this app by clicking here in start. So when you click in start, you're going to get access to the service menu. And what I do on the service menu at my own risk is I turn off TPC and GSR. That is going to prevent any dimming 
other than ABL. So you don't, you're not going to get dimming because of logos in the games. You're not going to get dimming because it is too dark. The APL is not changing enough and then the TV thinks that uh, you have a static image when you don't and then everything becomes even dimmer you cannot see anything you're playing a horror game everything is dark and it becomes even darker turning off TPC is going to prevent that turning off GSR is going to prevent dimming of the entire screen because you have logos with the game so that's what I do so now on this app you can also set some quality of life improvements that I'm going to do a separate video about that which is basically you can change the settings per game so you can launch a game with a specific setting so you don't have to be changing settings on your TV all the time. And because the problems we have in gaming today with black level rays on HDR is always the same black level rays in my experience, always the same settings. So basically we're going to have a set of two or three settings ready on this app. And every time we, we have a game installed, all we have to do is to select that game and say this game is going to be opening with this set of settings, this game is going to be opening with this set of settings and then all we have to do here is we go to this game launcher and then we open that game and it comes already with all the settings that we want, okay? So I will do a separate video about that, I've been testing that and there are some issues when you open a game then the Epic Games needs to be open then the game wants to connect to your internet to your account and that's the issue then you have to open Epic Games open the game from there it's, it's an issue sometimes so that's why I'm gonna do a separate video see if I can figure that out because not every game is gonna open here flawlessly so yeah it's just the way it is now with the games that we have to be connected to the internet and all of that you know, rockstar launcher and you know what it is <laughs> so i will do a separate video about that it's a quality of life improvement so you don't have to be changing the settings using your remote so i'm going to end the video here let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions